Hi, thanks for watching this video about optimizing geofencing notifications. Today we will go over a few tips that will help you make your notification messages more relevant. Click on notification to be able to edit it. Let's first have a look at the content of the notification. To make your notification clear and effective, you should start by mentioning the location so that the user knows that the notification is location-based. For example, you are near Starbucks at 5th Avenue. Then explain what your offer is about, for example, 10% off an espresso. Now let's go to advanced settings. Here we're choosing which action is going to trigger the notification. Let's pick triggering on entering geofence region, because the goal is to acquire customers when they enter the vicinity of, for example, a Starbucks 5th Avenue. If you want to reach out to your customers when they're leaving your store, rewarding them with loyalty points or sending them a survey, it's better to choose triggering on exiting the geofence region. The dwelling time allows you to set a number of minutes a person has to be in a specific geofence before a notification will be sent, so people who drive through your geofence will not receive a notification. Step 2. Opening hours. Here, any time is not what you want to choose, because you don't want your app users to receive messages when your store is closed. Three options are left. Choose time spam if you want to reach out to your users for a few days only for a few specific events. You can add as many time spans to your notifications as you would like. During specific opening hours is useful if you want to promote your offer a few hours per day, after lunch for example or in the morning. Finally, let's talk about during opening hours of Geofence. We are going to select this option because we are promoting the offer every day while the store is open. You can define the opening hours of Starbucks 5th Avenue in the detail screen of the geofence. Step 3. Resendability. By default, your users will receive notification only once, no matter how often they visit your geofence. You can tick the box, make it possible to receive the notification multiple times. Depending on the offer, you can send it multiple times or not. Be careful not to be spammy, your app users may not appreciate that. Let's have a look at the segmentation part. Here, you can select what kind of customers you want to target. For now, you can choose female or male. If you promote dresses, for example, you might want to reach out to your female users only. This offer is general and could be targeted at any of your app users, so selecting any works fine. Step 5. Select action. Below the advanced settings, you can see Select Action. This part of the dashboard allows you to determine what happens when your user taps on or swipes the notification. By default, your app will open. Otherwise, you can also select Landing Page in App. You can redirect your customers to a specific page in your app. Custom Data allows you to hyper-target your notifications by personalizing them even further, but it requires the assistance of developers. You can refer to our documentation for more information. You can also refer to a landing page in a browser, such as the position of Starbucks 5th Avenue on Google Maps. Let's pick this option. I hope you found this video useful and thanks for watching.